Welcome to Scale Car Models. Today I'll be taking a look at the 125th scale monogram 1929 Ford Rat Rod 3-in-1 model kit. This is part of the Car Show series. This is a 2012 release. This happens to be a skill level 3 model kit, which means you'll need paint and glue to assemble the model kit. First what I'll do is look around the box, show you guys the box art and all the other details that are go along with that, and then I'll open everything up, show you guys everything that comes in the kit, and I'll let you guys know what I think of the model. Taking a look around the outside of the box, you can see here they have a very nice illustrated picture of how you can build the kit. And then here's their features and paint guide. This happens to be six and a half inches long. It features 159 parts. It's molded in white. It features water slide decals. And there's also vinyl tires, chrome plated parts. As well as your paint guide here. And on the sides of the box it just gives you some more pictures showing you how it can be put together. So now, let's open this up and I will show you guys what all comes inside. Upon opening up the box, you can see everything is nicely sealed here. On top you have your chrome plated parts and I'll open all these bags up show you guys more detail on that at the end of the video. Here is your bag with the white molded parts. They all come in one bag, but they look like they're uh, packaged pretty nicely so there shouldn't be any problems as far as shipping and uh, damage goes. Here's another small bag with your wheels, chrome plated, your tires are in there as well as your white walls. Look at those more in detail, looks to be nice parts. Here's your nicely detailed new style Revell instructions. Here it looks pretty much the same but once you open it up you'll notice they have the paint guide here which I'm not a big fan of but you know you gotta deal with it. Here's all the parts included and they give you all the names of everything just in case you're wanting to know. And then nicely detailed pictures illustrating how you put everything together and this looks to be a very nicely detailed kit the doors open you know you can use the uh, flip up style hood there I mean it looks really nice and it looks like they got a lot of decals that come in this so it should be pretty cool look at this stuff close up get the uh, decals out here they also include this clear piece of really thin plastic here. I'm unsure what that's for but I'll look it up and I'll tell you guys later on in the video. And then the decals here which is the star of the kit as most people would say. Got these upside down. They include all kinds of nice little things there. Looks like they got a couple different types of gauges and different decals for uh, different manufacturers, flames, and the wood bed there. Some other crazy ones there and some toxic waste symbols, some radi radioactive symbols there. Just some black stripes, some scallops. So very nice decal sheet there. They include this really thin clear piece of plastic here and this is actually what you cut out. They have a one-to-one -one diagram in the instructions and you cut that out and you cut this piece out here according to that for the windshield, back window, and the side windows. So it's quite a bit different but it's kind of nice because that does kind of fit the older style because they did have really thin windows and so this should look really nice. However you do need to be very careful as it just comes like this so I would recommend putting this in some type of bag and putting this in a safe spot so it doesn't get damaged while you're uh, storing or building the model. Here's a chrome plated parts tree that comes with the kit. There is a few more chrome parts that come in the other small bag and I'll show you guys those in a second but these are your main parts here and they look excellent as you can hopefully see in the video. Everything looks very clear. Molding is nice. See here your front axle, your rear axle, wheels, some suspension arms there. Got a header, bumper, so very nice parts. They also have a chrome valve cover on here. Very detailed. Inside your other small bag you get quite a few things actually. This bag here is a metal axle and then there's a very small, looks like a one piece thing here. I'm sure that's part of some suspension part. And you have some nice 
white wall inserts there. And I like how they do the white wall inserts in the tires and they have the cutouts here. Makes it look really realistic because that way you can have them in there white or you can weather them. And it looks really nice. Here's the steel wheels as well as some other, I believe these might be the inside parts of the wheels. The inner wheels I guess you would call them. And then a small bag of chrome trim rings and such. Very nice. Here are all your white molded parts. There are five parts trees total here, plus the two cabs they include. It's an open style version and a closed style. Now what I'll do is show you guys close up a detail of all the parts that are included here. And then I'll let you guys know what I think of the kit. Here are the two cabs that are included. Detail is very nice on both of the cabs. You can see here, nice ribbing. Replicate what the truck would really have. Overall, very nice. Here's the open one. Pretty much similar, just uh, no roof. This tree has your fenders, very nicely detailed, your stock seat, steering wheel, floor pan foldable hood there, some small braces for under the hood, and then another trim piece there. It is nicely molded. As you can see, there are some sink marks, but really there's no flash or any big imperfections that I can see. So, so. This next part here, which was standalone piece, is the custom seat they include. Nice detail. Next tree features the frame, custom nose cone you can put on the front, looks like a radiator. Some other small pieces there for the suspension I believe. Got a front windshield support there. This is your dashboard. Custom exhaust. There's one highlight of this kit is this custom exhaust. I really like that. The last parts tree features the opening doors for both the stock and the convertible version, as well as some other body parts here. Very nice detail on this here. Other small parts for door handles and such. And the stock style hood. Very nice detail overall. All these parts look very nice. After taking a detailed look at the 1929 Ford Rat Rod 3-in-1 model kit from Monogram Ravel, I can say that I really do like the car show series that they have now and this is a 2012 release so it's really nice to see that they're coming out with more kits. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a new release or a reissue. I'm pretty sure it's a reissue of an older kit that came out and they just retooled it. Came out with new box art, new graphics, decals, such like that. Uh, all the parts look excellent. As you guys saw, everything's really nice. It doesn't look like you have much to do. Uh, the opening doors, the way the hood, you can open it up, all the extra parts. So whether you want to build this stock or as a kit bash car, you want to throw a big V8 in there, you want to make it a drag car, you know, or anything you want to do with it, this is an excellent kit. So if you guys do see this in the model shop or if you guys see it online, you get a good deal on it, you have the money, definitely check this out because this is an excellent kit. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. Lots more reviews to come. If you have any feedback or input, feel free to leave it below the video or personal message me. Thank you all for watching. You guys have a great video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you all soon.